Um, dear Commissioner Burton, Commissioners, uh, on behalf of the Taliban Sniffer Association, I'm writing in support of the proposed rezoning plan, but with some specific recommendations for modifying the plan within its certified scope. We feel that city planning listening closely to our concerns about recent out of scale development and the potential for further degradation of the neighborhood's character and generally created an appropriate plan. However, throughout the public review process, we, along with a large group of concerned residents, have objected to the insertion of R6A districts into non commercial, narrow street areas. We understand city planning's desire to minimize legal non conformities, but we are very distressed that this obedience to a numbers game with respect to FAR runs directly counter to the specific goal that DCP has set for this proposal, contextual rezoning. We have read and agreed with the analysis contained within the borough president's statement to DCP. Specifically, many buildings were built with large lot coverage, not great height, to the point where the 1961 zoning resolution <coughs> made them non-conforming. Many of these buildings are old law tenants that have been outlawed, yet ironically, the proposed R6A zoning is mapped to attempt to accommodate them. The R6A mapped areas will in fact be upzoned from the present permitted density. While the R6A mapping may reduce non-conformities, it would also allow many building owners to construct roof competitions that current zoning limitations prohibit. Those roof competitions are often the most unsightly, least contextual sort of construction. Many examples of such additions are visible on the place blocks that were previously considered wide streets. It is very important to look at the recent history of development in Tower Gardens for clues as to how R6A districts could impact the neighborhood. New development and vertical additions to existing buildings over the last 10 years have taken place almost exclusively along wide streets and the 100 foot zone within a wide street. Clearly, the extra floor area afforded to a wide street development, 3.0 FAR versus 2.2, is very attractive to developers. We oppose designations that would create undue development in certain parts of our neighborhood. That said, we understand the risks of the current R6 zoning, particularly on regulated heights and additional floor area benefits from community facilities. After careful consideration, following discussions with Richard Burak, the Brooklyn Borough President's Office, and listening to residents' opinions, we recommend the following in-scope modifications. One, retain the existing R6 zoning along first place between Court and Clinton Street. Retain the existing R6 zoning along President Street between Court and Clinton Streets. It is important to note that since the first place lot at the corner of Clinton faces onto first place, the R6 car back could extend all the way to the central line of Clinton Street. However, since the lots at the corner of President Street front onto Clinton Street, carved out along President Street should extend only to the R6A line along Clinton Street. And I'll submit this so that you can read through it. <laughs> Additionally, we continue to recommend that the Smith Street, Garnet Street, south of 9th Street be upzoned to R6A instead of R6B. Most of the areas proposed to be rezoned R6A in this proposal. It should be completely R6A in order to spur new development and redevelopment of the many derelict properties there. It's adjacency to the elevated Gowanus Expressway, Hamilton Avenue, and manufacturing along the canal warrants higher density development. 